Good morning. So this was last Sunday and it was three degrees and an exceptionally cold north wind. And if you're wondering where we've all gone to, we're at Gloucester. We start with a nice wide fairway. Can I hit it? Well, I do like getting the driver out early and that's something I've missed doing at Lilybrook to be honest. So I don't get the driver out until the 4th. I leave myself 146 yards. Let's try the 7 iron. How fat was that? What a start, hey? On in four. Should be able to two putt for a double bogey six. I, tell you, I can't feel my fingers. When they said it was going to be six degrees, they lied. It's half of that, and with this wind chill, it's, it's below freezing. This isn't going to be a great deal of fun, especially holding a metal tripod. Ah, well. Such is life. Well, I'm on in for brilliant, eh? James is just going to tidy up and I'm going to lag it down. Down the hill, but we're not too sure how fast the greens are. And I pull up a little short, but that is good enough. Even though it's going to be for a double, I suppose you got to take it. David to tidy up. Just a fraction on the high side. Well, disaster for all three of us. And then myself for the dreaded double. Then we move on to the third. Nice. Well, the third is this par three up the hill. But there's no entrance to the green. It's all carry. You either land it on the green or land it in a bunker. That's your two choices. Oh, this one's right down the banner. How good? Well, there's the pitch mark. David's chipping on. Chip. And that's pretty decent. He's got it below the hole. This green is very difficult, especially when you're on the upside of the flag. There's no gimme two putt from up here. And I'll prove it to you. James first though. He's got his eye in with the putter today. You're going to see a few of his canned. A bit like that. I can the old man. Follow me in. On to the fifth and a four iron tee shot. The reason why I'm skipping holes is quite simply the tripod is far too cold to hold. So I'm having to have a hole off so I can stick my hand in my pocket. 88 yards over the water. Well, just over the water. Yeah, the ball just simply isn't travelling today. And it takes quite a few holes to adjust to the fact that I'm hitting a 7 iron no more than 128 yards at no. best. No. Clubbing up for the wind and clubbing up for the cold. David's got a long lag and that's pretty tidy. 
You don't want that back. See, I didn't even make the green from 88 yards. I had to chip. James for his tidy up. Well, as you can see, the pond behind me has had a new liner fitted. So at the moment, there isn't any water in it. Although after the rain we've had this week, my goodness, James missed one. After the rain we've had this week, I suspect it'll be a lot fuller. And me, this is for my first par on the fifth hole. Yeah, it's pretty grim today. James to tidy up. Always best to hold these out, out, really. You have to in a competition. We skip to the middle of the seventh fairway. And a six iron. That's from 147. And it was such a slap. I didn't even reach the green. But it leaves me one of my favourite shots. Well, that's a chip and run with a nine iron. Nice touch. Now the seventh is one of the hardest greens on the course. Let's see if I can remember this putt. Near enough. Shame it's for yet another bogey. Now we're on to ten, and the tee is well forward. I think we come off mats the weekend, but the clock's changed, so for a little while we're playing forward on a number of holes. So dog leg left, need a draw, and as you can see the fairway slopes against the turn. But that is a perfect drawn three wood. You can't get better than that. However, from this forward tee, three wood is too much. And that's pretty skanky. Flag is all the way back right. So it's a long chip and run with a pitch and wedge well left of the flag. I'll let it run forwards and to the right. That's not bad. And you finish up with something Make like this. Strange that on one of the hardest holes on the course. I'm making a par. Yay. Not to be outdone. Here comes James again. He's done it again. Well, we move on to 14 now. It's a short but awkward par 5. All I'm looking to do here is to hit the fairway and basically get my ball to where the old par 40 used to be. So I've now got a 270 yard par 4. You see how narrow the fairway is and the penalty for taking driver and missing it. So another hybrid up the fairway, a little bit too far right. Ball above the feet, 8 iron from 115, that and that's right. as fat as you like. So first job is turn the camera off, second job is to go get me divot. In the bunker, god what an awful third shot. Now on a long bunker shot like this I take the sand wedge and quite simply square the face. Although I took a little too much sand and I'd forgotten how much borrow there was on that putt. So that's another bogey. We go to 15 and the tee is a very long way forward. So we can drive it up there quite close to the green. Which leaves me one of my favourite shots. Which is the long chip and run with a 9 iron. Just short the bunker. Now for those of you who like numbers Despite having two birdies today, I finished with a 15 over par, 
85. Yeah. But it was really cold. So tomorrow, I've got a number to beat. The last hole that I show you is the 17th, short par 4, over a lot of out-of-bounds. Cheerio!